the world we live in. Oh, world. We and there's another scripture too that I can't remember right now that talked about that. Oh, it's a cold world. Mm -mm -mm. Man, people are stuck in this world. Man, heartbreaking. Mm. Amen. Yeah, Dwayne. Yeah, look. I used to be a big reader like that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but I started reading books. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I was like, you know, I'm gonna start reading the Bible. Right. Everybody, I'm, I'm, I need. I know I need to reprogram my mind. You know, this was this was since I've been here. And you know, people give me books, man. But I kept sticking to the Bible. You know what? I stuck to the Bible more than all these other books. Amen. Hey, this was something that needed to happen. Right. I can't, I, I know I need to get closer to God. Right. Reading these other books ain't going to help me. The, the, right. When I read the, the Bible, is the only book I know mm -hmm. that has offended anybody that has opened it and read. Mm -hmm. Man, ain't another book out here in this world that has right. done that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of that's what I started doing, man. I started okay. reading. I just started I started listening to the water. I started mm -hmm. listening to the word daily. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, I started listening to the word so much now it's regular. It's normal to me. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's normal for me to wake up in right. the morning, put the headphones in and put the right. word on and go. Right. You know, oh, we see the I enemy is stop the enemy has stopped you and trying to block you from getting that word, your blessing. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, he will. Yeah, yeah he will. I was, I was so like he, that. He, he throw all kind of stuff in your way too. Bro. Yeah, most he definitely. Stuff, he look, he 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 throw everything. But what happens? Right. What he what he doesn't realize? What he does realize? But after oh, after so long of doing that, just constantly, constantly, right. man, that's in you. Right, 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 right. After a while, your spirit right. be like, oh, so you gonna go without the word today, huh? Right, right. Okay, cool. Let's see. Right? And <laughs> bam. So, man, I got to get in this word right quick. I'll be back. Right. And I was <laughs> like that, too, when I was younger. I used to be in juvenile reading these Donald Gorham books. But then some, it was like it just took my mind off that, off them books. And I just, all I wanted along for was just to read the Bible, just verses here, verses there. But it was like, and it reminds me of like we had the story in Acts with the Sons of Silva. This is exactly mm -hmm. what it was. And when the spirit, after these men, the sons of silver, tried to cast out those demons, the spirit spoke. And the spirit mm -hmm. said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? Who are you? But look at after that. After the spirits jumped into them and they ran out of their scarred and naked, everybody in Hufesis that seen that, they came and they brought their books. Mm -hmm. And they counted mm -hmm. up the cost, how much they spent searching for the truth, and they burnt them. Wow. So what I'm saying is, like you're saying, is there wasn't no power in none of those books. Yeah. But nothing but the Bible. Yeah. And every time you fed yourself with it, little increments or whatever it was, it just right. kept opening your heart to the it truth. Kept, oh, man, I'm telling you. And now man. you don't want to be nothing else. And this is how it should be. Why would yeah. somebody who's been turned on to God want to put some Pope fiction in you? Come on, bro. You're right about that. that. It makes no sense to put man. things that are vain inside of you. Yeah. You claim to know God, the truth. You know, we've been lied to all our lives, so they say. Right. And now, remember, we've got to understand God look, is watching look, us. Look, so we got to understand what we're doing, we're doing in front of God. Look, one thing that's one thing that's look, they lied to us, right? So say that so 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 say it is a lie, right? Yes, sir. Like I said before, here's the one thing. The Bible can't be that much of a lie if it offended everybody who opened it and read it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, right. It is you know, it gets you know, you good. That's how offensive it is. It gets you straight. Little, it's little <laughs> things. It's little things that we can use right. to have right. an art to not even have an argument with God, but just to let somebody else know, oh, that ain't God. But right. what do you right. think about this then? Right? We don't, we don't have to be having these long. Hard, drawn arguments with people because they don't. Okay, 
Right, and, right. And, and if you don't want to accept it, cool. Look, let me show you how he works. Right. Who woke right. you up this morning? Huh? What you, right? Look, everybody know the recipe to water. <laughs> Make some. Right, right. Amen, amen. Hey, this definitely they said they, they they, they they listen, take this one up. People are spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on houses, on mm. property. Mm -hmm. How are they going to sell you something when they ain't even got the deeds for it? Right, right. And right. if they got the deeds, right? Who? Which one of your fathers or ancestors created it? Right, right. Right. <laughs> you can't sell. Right. This is not yours. Right. See, see, see these little things. Man. Man I yeah, appreciate this, you, Derek. Real talk. Yes, yeah, sir. My brother. I appreciate right. you too, brother. This is this is a very good uh, this is good bit. Man, it's good because we need to know. That God has a plan. I'm going to just sum this up. We need to know that God has a plan. Yeah. God's ways is higher than our ways. God knows mm -hmm. what we need and what we want. Man don't know that. Mm -hmm. So every time I mm -hmm. see somebody building here in Babylon, don't you know that frust it doesn't frustrate me, but it's like, wow, what is he doing? Don't he know we're in bondage? Every time somebody mm -hmm. kicks against the system being racist in their heart, mm -hmm. don't they know that God mm -hmm. has a plan for us that's not here in Babylon? Mm -hmm. That's right. So how you expect to be served in the kingdom of God, but you can't serve now. Ooh. So this follows me when I look at people that got their own agenda. That's why we have to partake of Christ's spirit so we can get on yeah. his plan, not on our own plan. Yeah. That's why we have to understand that there's seven sons of Japheth. He shall lay the foundation with his firstborn, which is Abraham, that come by way of Shem, and he shall lay the foundation with his lastborn, which is Japheth. There's a found, there's a gate, I mean, around us. He yeah. shall lay the foundation with his firstborn. He shall set up the gate with his lastborn. There's a gate yeah. around us. Yeah. God is weeding this black race out of the people who don't want to be obedient, the people who want to do their own thing. That's clear and evident. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Not just because somebody did something to your brother and you go out and do something. No, God knows what he's doing. God got yeah. him. God brought me to him through yes. death. Yes. Yes. Javan, Tubal, and Messick, they were the merchants that traded the persons of men in the vessels in the market. See these three brothers? But mm -hmm. you still got Gomer, Magog, Maday, Javan. There's, two, there's four more other descendants. You can't lump everybody in one group. No. That's why I keep saying, like Jesus said, try the spirit by the spirit, not the flesh by the flesh. Right. When you do that, you end up grouping people that don't, they might have the same color, but they don't have the same spirit. And these people that treat you better than your own kind. Come on, man. I've seen it. I witnessed I know, it. I, part come of it. on. Come on, bro. Go home, they're selling drugs and drinking. But go out here, they're taking care of me, taking me shopping, make sure I have a place over my head. That's all God's doing. That's all God's doing. Even though I didn't like it at the time, because right. I was loyal to family, so loyal to the devil, don't tell on me. But his name is righteousness. So how are you going to be a part of God and you ain't willing to stand up and tell the truth? Mm. Come on, man. At least do that part. We're going to get in that word point. next week, if the Lord said the same. Because yes, his name is righteousness. And if we're talking about somebody snitching on somebody and not willing to tell the truth, how are you going to be a part of him? Mm -hmm. We're going to look at Mordecai, who told on Big Than and Cheresh for plotting to kill King Ahasuerus. Ooh. Just think if he said, I'm not snitching, then the king wouldn't be able to roll over and look in the Chronicles. God had him up all night, look in the Chronicles and search for that good deed that he did in righteousness. Yeah. And guess what? Hey, parade him around the town. Wait, now what is that? This is um this is <laughs> Esther. This yeah, is Esther, Esther. Amen. Right? That's an yeah. Esther. Okay, okay, okay. That's what we're gonna get into next week. We're gonna see his Go name ahead, is Paul, righteousness. Bro. So if you're talking about he's snitching or I don't hang with snitches, then you can't hang with God. Yeah, yeah. God is true, baby. That's his name. 
Amen. Oh, that's awesome. All right, man. So we that's just why look, you know, you know, you know, you know, hey, you know, that's why, you know, we have people around us, man, that are, you know, they, they got some people that we deal with that don't know the word. They got some people mm -hmm. that we deal with that don't know God, man. Right. That's why they're around us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. You know, some people say you should get away from them, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. instead of getting away from them, just give them a little bit. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Look, our job is not to convince them. That's right. God work. We right. just planting the seed. We mm -hmm. just trying to get them there. Right. So we can't get look, we don't have all the answers for them, but we got a few of the ones that they need the most. Right. Point them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Amen. I like that, brother. Thank you good for morning. that. Amen. Amen. How you doing? Good. Yeah, good night, sleep. Okay. Use the bathroom. You got any, you got anything else? Um, Dwayne, you wanna oh. any remarks? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I will, you know, for the most part, man, I, I just I enjoy this. I enjoy getting to see, you. you know what I'm saying. Especially like, you know, like I woke up late, boy. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> it's okay, brother. It happens. Amen. Amen. It happens, brother. And, and, and that's the part for me that I'm so grateful for. You know, years ago, man, uh, going to church was kind of tough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying because. You always, I've always, I used to always find myself like, what am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? Right. And uh, I got, when I got here, man, I went to a church, man, and I found myself doing that again. Mm -hmm. And I thought about this scripture saying, God going to take you how you is. Just wait, no, put on anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I started right. doing that, bro. And I'm telling you, man, like I say, I got to get that word in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, without getting this word in me, man, I'm telling you, it, it, it's like, it's like, okay, so you plan to run off the road today? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Crash course, now you gonna crash course today, huh? You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? Amen. So, man, we, and, and is that all mm -hmm. cost? Praying without season, I understand the total. Man, you gotta get this in you all day. You gotta pray right. all day, right. all day, because it don't Amen. take nothing but a split second, and. And, and see, here's the thing that people really got to understand. See, the devil don't show up until you open the door. <laughs> yeah. Now, check this out. Opening a door means, hey, look that dude over there on that corner. Hey, I know. I want to go over there and smack him off. Do something mm. to him. Right? See, the devil ain't, look, that ain't the devil yet. Mm. See, the devil don't come in until you get to that person and you don't slap him. Are you about right. to, right? See, see, because the closer you get to him, that's when you go here and the devil, yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. You just talk. Right. You, just talk. you feel me? See, yeah. that's, that's, that's what he does, mm -hmm. right? But he don't come in the door until you act on the action. Mm -hmm. Once you do the action, then he go full blown. Hey, what's right. up, buddy? Right? And see, this is what we have to understand, you know? Um, mm -hmm. It stay spiritual, you right? Now I ain't saying you do it all the time, but this is the goal. See, right. the more you practice this, right? The more you have these little these little talks, not mm -hmm. big ones, you start little. Right, right. Because right. once you get the little, once you, yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta work your way up, right. man. And that's what we we aim to do. You know, we're gonna speak on God's word and we know that we got different, you know, listeners on there at various stages. And I'm not mm -hmm. I know it all. I would like to hear from them too, because I do believe. That got yes. two people that can grow and put pieces into rest of the puzzle that he has given you. That's but right. don't neglect the puzzle no. that he has given you. That's right. Because somebody right. might out here that might understand what this is saying. That can grow right. them to the way they need to be grown. And also it can build others up to the missing pieces that they need to be grown at. And it's okay. I love how God That's is doing his thing to bring us together, to share in his word, to grow in his word. And as your faith increase then you can increase us in the measure that God has given you. Hey, look. Dr. Miles Monroe, you know who that is? Yeah, I've seen, seen some things. Hey, I got this from him. Check this out. Everybody eat mangoes. Mango, it comes from a seed. In that seed, 
is a tree. It produces fruit. The fruit is called the mango. Who's the fruit for? The mango don't eat the fruit itself. It's for you. Right. Yeah. So every person that is here has fruit for somebody that to eat. But if you're still here, you're robbing somebody. Mm. Somebody ain't getting their fruit. Right, right. You, you can't eat your own fruit. Mm. It's for somebody else to get. Right. So okay. people that, so even when we get these people that, that, that are in the beginning of their spirit, all the way to the end of their spirit, you still got fruit that you have to produce for somebody. Right. Right. So it's always, we have to do these things. Right, right. Yeah. I, I ain't never seen a mango tree eat his own fruit. Right. You know, it, right. It fall off and hit the ground again and refertilize. You know what? I like that. I like that analogy. And um I must say, you know, we do have to understand that when Christ comes in us, that's why he tells us to examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. This is aside from yourself. This is Christ's spirit in you that's letting mm -hmm. you know, hey, you can go look at the scripture and see if you're a part of me. Mm -hmm. So not only what I'm saying is that word for somebody else, but that word is also for you. Yeah, We must get out of the habit of when God show us something, going to run it to somebody else yeah. before we run it to ourselves. Yeah, man. Because God showed you for a reason. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> And this is what we are. We're people, we're visual people. That's yeah. why God can use people that are not of him to show the picture. Yeah. And hopefully you get it. Yeah. What he is yeah. showing you. Yeah. But, but it's a never ending, you know, never ending oh, yeah. thing. You know, we're oh, steady growing and we're steady right. helping the body to nourish. Just don't yes. hold on to what God is doing in you. Don't hold yeah. on. To it. Put it out there. Mm -hmm. Get, get it out, out there. there. A lot of people want to wait for a new fresh word, but God just been teaching me all eight years long, and I ain't letting right. none of that word out. Right, right. right. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Um, I, I tell this to people too. Uh, I can't hate. Yes. I used to hold grudges, but I can't hate. Right. I'll tell you why. There's a spirit of joy in me, bro, mm. and uh. It feels like, you know, people be like, he always happy, he's smiling. Hey, right. if I don't do that, I right. think I'm gonna die, bro. Like, mm -hmm. this is real. Mm -hmm. This is it's too much. It's it's too much for mm -hmm. me to just say, I'm gonna keep it to myself. I can't handle it. I'm being this is honest too. I can't handle it. It'll mm -hmm. kill me, it will consume me. You feel me? So, I, you know, I have to be that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, brother, look, I can't. I, I, I refuse not to. One mm -hmm. person, I, I ran across people that don't want to accept it. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Uh, somebody that wanted it. Right, right, right. Because I know yeah. it ain't meant for me to keep, to keep it to myself. Right, right, right. That's all we do. That's all, that's all we do, brother. When all we do is just, um, you know, allow people the opportunity to hear the word and keep moving. You hear me? That's right. And God will work on them. God will work on their heart. And maybe when you come back the next time, they'll be ready. Or yeah, maybe be perhaps ready. they That's might right. won't. They might won't, whatever. But I, I'm I'm still willing to pass it to you. Right. Amen. Good. Now, that's going to be the biggest thing. That's going to be the biggest thing. Did mm -hmm. they scar you enough? That's why Jesus lets us know in his word that he's going to send you forth and they're going to persecute you. But you make sure that your fruit remains. Yeah, because as you go forth and get persecuted, if your fruit is remaining, then you're going to be able to go back a second time and see if they're ready. Mm -hmm. Hey, you remember? Early but if you allow know. them to scar you, then mm -hmm. God can be working in the spirit to get them ready, but you won't go back by there because you don't allow them to offend you. Right. You you remember earlier you were saying how yeah. you know it, it's in a, it's in black people to yeah. recognize it. You know, that, 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 like, 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 thank you. Oh, uh, we'll right. take anybody to child, no matter what they done done to us. Right, right. Most definitely. Hey, listen, that's something that I totally understood about. Well, look, so think about slave time. Mm -hmm. That's all they had. That's all we knew was work. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter how we got mistreated. Right. Because show compassion, love. You understand right. what I'm saying? 
Right. That's who we are, man. But we see the power of Christ. My wife wanted to say something. You want to say something? No, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. My wife, my wife wanted to say something. No, I was just going to say. Ahead. Come um, on, speak up. Say, can you hear? Yeah, I can hear. Um, no, I was just going to comment on what you guys said, and I like that. But I was thinking that someone that gets offended is someone who doesn't understand their position. They don't understand yeah. the assignment. Because the thing is, mm. they get offended, then you've made it about you. We're mm -hmm. sent out for the yes. Lord. So, and we, you know, when you remove yourself and you understand the mission, when mm -hmm. you understand the assignment, it's not even about us. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, yeah. when you remove yourself from the equation, you don't get offended. Because, right. you know, it's not God is just right. using you. You're just a right. vessel. So, once you understand that it's not about you, but it's kingdom business, you're yeah. on assignment. Right. You're yeah. on assignment for the Lord. So, yeah. I can't get offended. Right. Because it ain't awesome. even about me. That's awesome. Right. 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 Yeah, that's, that's, that's beautiful because that's what it's about. That's awesome, right? It's about recognizing what's in you, you know, keeping things in the perspective. Right. See, that's one of the things about when God comes to you, which I see that a lot of people have failed, is they made it all about them. When Perfect. God came to me, God said, I want you to be a watchman. Mm -hmm. Don't abandon my work for your own self work. Everybody, on, it's just about them. Me, me, me. Gather up this, gather up that. Big homes, big this, big that. But they forgot to do the work of Christ who enlisted them. What about God, who wants you to go here and there, who Come wants on. you to get persecuted and still go there and there? To still be a light where he can look through you and witness through you and save people through you by you planting in one watering and him giving an increase. But if yes, we sir. don't go back that way because we allow for these individuals to offend us, then perhaps... God is working in the spirit on these individuals, and it was your responsibility to go back through there and to plant and water so these individuals can get saved. But since you didn't position yourself the right way to understand what thus says the Lord, here you go. You lost them, brother. That's right. That's right. We're growing to be stronger, too. You, you're growing. In the go, ministry, go ahead, go ahead. My, my, said, my. part of that is also spiritual growth as yeah. well. Because when you're yeah. out there doing ministry and you're witnessing the people, you have to grow up right. from being a child to being an adult. You know how when you're a child, you you know every little thing you're ready to fight right. and everything, right? So the mm -hmm. thing is, it's something for us too, is right. building us. You know, when you first go out there the first couple of times, yeah, you might find yourself right. getting in the flesh, but as you continue on, right. you should continue, you should grow. And maturity, mm -hmm. you should be able to right. get some thick skin right. and you should be able to go through some things. And the right. thing is, Jesus is our perfect example. Right. So when we look to him and we see that everything that we, he went through, right. we know we, we ain't went through, through nothing. Right, right. We ain't went, we ain't through, went through nothing. And, that, and that's the thing, and that's the thing that we're saying is God knows, you know, when you're having hiccups to oppose yeah. to, to be full grown and ready. And yeah. that's what we're speaking to, you know, that part where you should be full grown and ready. And yeah. now, you know the things that used to offend you shouldn't offend you no more. Offend you anymore, yeah. Right. Because you are, you know, well averse in your word and grew strengthened, you know, in your strength that you should yeah. understand, you know, what the Lord, what the Lord is doing. And um, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a learning curve. It's a learning curve. Yeah. There, yeah. And God it's will like, get us ready. I call it a life process, especially when you find out. Yeah. Because the rest of your life, you're gonna spend the rest of your life trying to get. It. Right. 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 And that's where you get the part. That's where you get the part in Corinthians, you know, where the Apostle Paul is, is, is letting the body know, you know, at a time where you should be teaching. Yeah. You know, you're still, you know, in you know, still, you know, in the position of being taught. I mean, we're forever yeah. learning, but what he's saying is that if you allow the mind to be in you that's once in Christ Jesus, I mean, you should be teaching now, but you still desiring to be taught. Yeah. That's we're not putting ourselves in a situation. So we can grow in the things of God so we can start doing what God has enlisted us to do. Everybody has yeah. different positions. You yeah. might have a position that God say, okay, certain amount of time, I'm going to use you to build you, and then I want you to be teaching over here in this part of the vineyard. Yeah. But since you haven't been pouring into yourself like you right. should be, but you brought everything else pouring into you that's of this vain world, now you're not at a place to where you should be doing what you're supposed to be doing, and that's teaching. Boy, that's powerful right there. But you boy. still desiring to be taught. Mm, mm, mm. So there I feel is like time. I fall in that line sometimes, boy. And there boy, is a time. powerful right there, boy. Whew. But that don't mean that we stop. I mean, that just means no, that, that we, mean we stop. Word, and we get ourselves 
right. Keep pushing towards the mark. I, keep look, going. We're forever I learning. I don't, I don't always be learning. retiring no more, bro. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at it like this, right? So you're going so retirement, people think they're gonna go do 20, 30 years on a job, and that's it. Right. If God keep waking you up, bro, it ain't over. So that allows you to know that you wasn't doing your job. Amen. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, this is forever. This this I found that too in Isaiah. I forgot where it was us, but I can find it though. But um, you know, we're gonna always because Isaiah, I think believe that was Isaiah. Oh, yeah, that was Isaiah. How long? He was telling the Lord, I'll go. How long? Until the lands be wasted, until everything be desolate. Everything so we go out here and preach this word. Ain't no retirement. Ain't no retirement, bro. Right. Ain't no Ain't, retirement, bro. Ain't no retirement. When Jesus come back, that'll be when we retire from this, and then we'll go on to glory. Come on. Come on. So like we always say, if you have not given your life to the Lord, if you confess with thy mouth, Romans 10, 9. And believe in thy heart that God raised Jesus on the third day, thou shalt be saved. Then go and get baptized. John 3, 5. And, um, man cannot enter into the kingdom of God unless he's been born by water and by spirit. Go and get baptized. You know, and allow the gift of the Holy Ghost to come upon you. You know, God is doing a wonderful thing in his time. You know, come around God's word. Just like John 8 at 32 lets us know if to continue on. In the word, Jesus told those Jews, and the truth will set you free. You know, to first to be a disciple of Christ is you have to continue on in the word. And then as you continue on in the word, that word will wash you. That word will set you free. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Amen. Brother Dwayne. Pray us out, brother. <clears throat> Father God, we'd like to thank you for allowing us to come together, Father God, in your name, Lord. Bless you, Father God. For whoever needs a healing, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually, Lord, you're the only healer that we should be seeking, Father. Father, we thank you for every person that you placed upon our life, Father. Don't allow us to mislead, misguide, or cause any kind of harm to them, Father God. Father, we ask you, Father God, that you continue uplifting us, Father. Continue guiding our footsteps, Lord. Don't allow us to get in the way of your will for our lives, Father God. Thank you for, for, for Brother Derek, Father God, for allowing him to be able to preach the word and give the word to us as we need it, Lord. Thank you for his wife as well, Father God. We ask you that you continue working in our life for the greater of your will. In your son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Daddy, that was a funny one. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. You have a good one, brother. You do the same, man. God yeah. bless you. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Love y'all, man. Brother. Amen. Amen.